Okay, so you've went out and got yourself an Asus motherboard. In fact, this particular Asus motherboard is a Z890AYW Gaming Wi-Fi W. What a name. But anyway, it was part of a Micro Center bundle that came with an Intel Core Ultra 7 and 32 gigabytes of G-Scale RAM, DDR5-6000. It's all a great deal, but you go to install Windows 11 on your brand new uh, NVMe. In this case, I got a Western Digital Black, and you get install driver to see hardware. Well, what you should have done first, and if you haven't uh, put all the parts together and you're just watching this now to see how it goes, do this. Update your BIOS first thing. Second thing, go into your BIOS, and you want to roll down here to default and hit default. Make sure everything's on default. The last thing you're going to do, and this is the thing I think makes the biggest difference, is turn off Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Right there, that guy. This is with the BIOS on easy mode, which is what everybody should see first unless you change it. After you've done that, when you go to install Windows, there's one last thing. I think this mattered. It seemed to make a difference. And that is, don't just install it off of a USB that you've made from a ISO file. Go ahead and use the Windows uh, creation tool. You put that Microsoft creation tool on, you get your Windows 11 and let it create a Windows 11 install on a USB drive. I don't know why it would be different. It, the ISO should be fine. But that CD image is not near as good as the thing that software uh, creates, the creator creates. And I have a hunch that more is included on that one or something. More drivers, better compatibility, who knows? But there's something different about it. From there, you can go ahead and exit your BIOS, uh, plug in your USB drive to your computer, uh, start your Windows up, and or start your computer up, and it will start installing Windows, and it will actually see this thing because that is the problem. It just can't see this. And it's mostly because of Intel Rapid Storage, and it's partially because if you download Windows from NISO and burn your own, yeah, I think it's missing some drivers. Anyway, that's what I did to fix mine. Thanks for watching.